Well, hi everybody. This is my brand new stand-up paddleboard. It's from Pelican. This is the Flow 116. I'm not really used to a stand-up paddleboard, and I'm certainly not good at surfing or anything like that. But uh, it this was pretty much a no-brainer to get on and go out there and have some fun. I started. Uh, the first couple times I went out, just to, as it was, bare bones, and Pelican actually puts a rod holder on it. Uh, but, you know, that, not too much else. There was carry handles and bungees and stuff, but y'all know me. I gotta have everything but the kitchen sink and the micro power pole. <laughs> so uh, check this out and uh, take a look at how I outfitted my new stand-up paddleboard. Well, I've been getting a lot closer living on this boat here, so I figured why not do the rigging, or at least most of it, to the paddleboard here on the boat. The paddleboard's actually easy to move around compared to a kayak, and I got it on the back deck of the boat pretty easy. It sure is different than a kayak. Looks pretty cool, too. Pelican sends this stand-up paddleboard with a Scotty rod holder mount. And Scotty was kind enough to send me all kinds of accessories to put on the board as well. Including this pump, in case some of my modifications didn't work out too good. <laughs> Here's an old cooler I had that I was going to use as a seat. And inside is the micro anchor, which I really, really wanted to attach. And this is where I was going to put the micro anchor. You can see I would have to add a scupper hole if I was going to do that though. Right there. You can see on the bottom there are scupper holes already, but they don't go all the way through, and they're not centered. I mean, their location is kind of weird too because that's where I was going to put the cooler as a seat, and I didn't want the micro up front. I really wanted it in the back behind the cooler. There was going to have to be a hole back there big enough to accept this 5 8 inch diameter spike that Parapole offers with the micro anchor. So I was going to make a, my own scupper. And to do that I was going to use this polyethylene pipe. You can see it on the sticker there. It says polyethylene. It's not PVC. All I had to do was add it to the stand up paddleboard. Before I use this spade bit here, which is the same outside diameter as this pipe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where the hole's got to be, and then I'm going to drill this straight through as a pilot. And that'll leave a small hole on the top and the bottom. This way I know that the hole on the top will line up with the hole on the bottom. Always exciting times when you're about to drill a hole in your brand new product here, whether it be a kayak or a paddleboard. Excitement of life. <laughs> okay, this is the big one. Drilling a hole in the bottom of a kayak or a paddleboard is definitely a big deal. 
<sighs> but I know how to fix it. I took my polyethylene pipe and I put it through until it stuck out about a half of an inch. Then I marked it. Then I used a pair of pipe cutters to trim it down. Now when I put it through, it should stick out about that amount on both the top and the bottom. Now I took some red tape and I, I tried to secure the pipe in that position because I was going to be pushing on the top of it quite a bit. Now it was going to be melted into the plastic of the paddleboard. Now this is the tricky part. We're going to heat up the kayak around here. We're going to heat up the pipe. And we're going to try to melt this down nice and flat. We're going to use a long screwdriver to kind of press it down. And I'm going to use a torch to heat it up. First, another shot of courage. This is a technique that I've tried before, actually, in the past, and I know that it works. I repaired the bottom of my red kayak a long time ago uh, using a plastic welding technique like this. And with nice, clean lines between the pipe and the paddleboard, I knew it was pretty much going to work. Here you see I'm fitting the, the spike to make sure that it passes through cleanly. And it does. Now I'm ready to melt the bottom side. You got to heat the plastic of the paddleboard about the same as the uh, plastic of the pipe and they, they will melt together and become waterproof. However, this will void your warranty so don't you guys do this to your brand new uh, paddleboards or kayaks. This is a project I would actually say don't try at home. Well there you go. One scupper hole made to order. Not pretty, but that's the bottom. You're not really going to see that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write right onto the plastic. Don't look here. <laughs> I mean, <made> you. <laughs> and. On the top part is the other part of the pipe. That should be waterproof too, and most of it should get covered when I put the micro motor on top of it. A little bit's going to show, but again, in front of the micro anchor, I'm going to put that uh, that cooler over there. So you'll be hard pressed to see that when it's all assembled. When it came time to screw down the micro anchor mount to the paddleboard instead of using silicone or anything like that I just put a piece of foam in between the mount and the uh, paddleboard and I was hoping that that would make a uh, waterproof barrier so that water wouldn't get in between the plastic and the screws then when I was done I just trimmed away the extra foam Now that the micro anchor was installed, it was time to work on the cooler slash seat. And to do that, I took the whole assembly back to the house. Now my cooler already had those big knobs on it. Those were taken off like an old router table or something. Now I just had to add the bungees that would hold the cooler down. You can see I heated up a bolt to get rid of the foam on the paddle board so the screws wouldn't uh, interfere with that. That worked pretty well. Again, I'm using just screws, not rivets, no silicone or anything. I've had good luck in the past with that not leaking. Here I'm measuring the bungee to length, just simply putting a knot in it. I'm going to check it again make sure that it's nice and sturdy and it was then I just trimmed the excess and I melted it a little bit so it wouldn't fray and that was that 
Some of the other Scotty accessories that I was given, those go in really, really easy. This is a flush mount rod holder. And that would be a place to store my rod holder while it wasn't being used. This is a Scotty rod holder mount from one of the uh, rod holders. I can't remember which, but I just trimmed it off so I had just the stem. And on top of that stem, I added a piece of PVC with the threaded fitting that fits my camera equipment. I used a little epoxy there to attach it. I even dripped a little bit inside of the fitting there where the screws would go. And that would hold my camera equipment. <laughs> this thing was uh, starting to feel like home. It was ready to go out on the water and catch some fish and do some filming. My thanks to Scotty for uh, providing all the things that made outfitting this kayak pretty easy. Now one of the last things I did was I wanted to have a quick place to have tackle on the front of the cooler that would hold the tackle box in place. Well, all that was left was to take the paddleboard out onto the water and see if I could actually catch some fish. But the seat on there was actually pretty comfortable. Here you can see I'm utilizing the power pole with the press of a button. The spike goes down, and I'm stuck in place. That is a great anchor. I fished these mangroves for a while looking for a bite. It took a while, but I finally hooked up. I actually like it a lot, fishing from a stand-up paddleboard. Here you can see the rocket launcher rod holder that Scotty sent. I put a pad eye on it so I could attach my boomerang clips. And my pliers. And here's the paddle that comes with the stand-up paddle board. You can see Scotty also sent a leash. And a paddle holder. Here's a cool thing. This is an articulating extending arm. This is the mount for it. You see it just clicks into place and it holds it tight. All you have to do is twist that and it'll pop right off. And here in that spot I have this extended arm with a cup holder on it, also from Scotty. Because you know, when you're on the water, you gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> Thanks, Scotty. Gotta love it. I'm truly enjoying having this stand up paddleboard. It's really easy to stow it onto my new big boat. I can see lots more adventures coming in my future fishing from a stand up paddleboard.
Well, I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me on some of my adventures, uh, outfitting my paddle boards and kayaks and uh, going on fishing trips with me. And we'll be doing more fishing trips with the paddle board soon. But one thing I hope you do while you're out there is take care of the places where you fish. You are your own steward. Don't wait for somebody else to come along and pick up trash. We're all in this together, folks.